Okay, ready? Hey, <laughs> that's awesome. It's so good, right? Yeah. So good. Okay, people, this is happening. Everybody say hi. Okay, Jack, can you explain what we're doing here? <laughs> These things are packed better than I've ever seen anything packed ever. We're taking off all the plastic, all these, uh, all these straps, all the rope, all the wood, all the cardboard. We're taking everything off. Uh, we're making a giant pile of it, and then uh, we're gonna move all nine cases. There's one extra, but we're only moving nine today. We're yeah. gonna move all of them into that room. And we got all of the parts for the minifig stands today too, I think. Or something like that. Whew. What was that? Okay guys, so the context is that you saw the cases we got before, like before the New Year's Eve. Now, Ramon is back. Welcome back, Ramon. Hi. What's up, dude? He's back, so we have uh, additional hands to help us out with getting those beautiful cases out of their packaging. Uh, first one is up, uh, the rest remains. Nine's gonna go in the room, so we have an extra one, so we have like 11 cases, I think, right? Yeah, 11 cases total. Yeah. The ones behind me are the ones we're gonna be uh, unpacking today. So everybody's like safety gear on and trying to get this done, so those rooms will finally start to look good. Everywhere. So the first one is almost cleared up, uh, that's, that takes uh, nine to go. Uh, we're gonna move it through the door with the use of suction cups. And uh, yeah, oh my god, so much stuff. One for me. Okay. Ooh. All right. We moved the first one with the um, the dolly and the suction cups. Eight to go. Awesome. All right. Let's move it. There you go. All the way. Yeah. 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 Perfect. One eight. Three, four, and then five. Hold the case. Okay. Thank you. Good. You, you with that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping. <laughs> so should we just move three at a time? Careful. You know that's actually good. That's perfect. You come in, you turn it, and then, and then you drop push. Me, push it that way. You push and then you pull it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. That works yeah. very well. Okay. Yep. Like a pro. Do you lift, bro? Oh, I lift. Four. Look at all this. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. A little bit. Okay, you got you got it. Okay, three now. So weird to turn. I'll oh, guide you. They look kind of awesome here, right? In this lineup. Someone was asking which um, which cases those are. I don't know the exact model number. That's a 48 inch Black Tower showcase from this place to go. This place to go. That's the company, and those are like 48 inches Black Tower displays, so you can search them up. For efficiency, we're lining them up one by one. So we're gonna unpack three at a time. And then once they are unpacked, we can just batch, move them with the suction cups. 
to their respective places. As you can see, we have measured um, spaces on the floor. Jack, uh, Charlie was actually walking around and measuring where they go. They have a two feet clearance between each other and then they will fill pretty much every single wall space around this room. So three at a time, I think it's gonna be the most efficient way to keep us safe with moving that stuff and uh, getting this done in less than a day. Got it? Let's start cutting. <laughs> you think the wrist? Hey, how do you feel, Bob the Builder? I'm like so good at this job, you know? You've been doing this, this for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm an expert by now. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> broke the scissors. You broke the scissors. <laughs> Got him. Okay. <laughs> it's so worthy satisfying. You got it? <laughs> Careful with the with the nails. Yeah, this one has a yeah, bunch yeah. of nails. Yeah, see that's this what I'm saying. <laughs> that's Early insane. Green. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna see if this one comes up. Hey, it went off. Woo. Careful. Woo. That's a lot of whatever that is, planks. You wanna give it a shot? Cause I... Sh sh should I try? It's gonna be... America's finest, fun, funniest home videos. Oh god. <laughs> this one is... You need to get the bottom first. The bottom. Dude, like this one. <laughs> See, it wasn't, it wasn't just me, guys. Let's get this thing up first. Oh! There you go. There you go. Whoa. Nice. Oh my god, that's look, a death machine. Look at the amount of nails. <laughs> oh my this god. This is scary. Woo. Cool. Maybe Your friendly neighborhood yeah. takes it, guy. <laughs> See? It wasn't just me. Last one out of first four. First, first four, yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. So you can see nine cases are in this room already. Um, we managed to move them in. And now I am working to fill out those cases with the minifigure stands. Uh, let me show you how my minifigure stand build station looks like. It's pretty crazy. All right, so don't mind Ramonder. He's working on something super secret. Shh, very, very quiet, yes, okay. Each of these stands is about a thousand something bricks. It's gonna be like a 12 two by six plates long. So that's one stand size. I'm starting the second one. And what I did, I just organized my station here with an extra table. So I have all the bricks for the stands ready to go. Each stand consists of uh, 24 brick types in different colors, mostly black though. You can see we have like massive amounts of bricks there. This box is about 20 to 30,000 two by fours. This box, is several more thousand of different bricks, kind of sorted, uh, mostly, definitely. And uh, well, I'm gonna resupply myself and um, this station is meant to make 60 of this size stands. They're, they're gonna be like this high, actually I can show you on the monitor. This is the design. So you can see that it's like one, two, three, four, five, six levels. Uh, it's a pretty big one. So let me just rotate that for a second. There you go. So you can see all the red in the back is like any color brick and the whole black is in the front. So it looks good from the front and it doesn't have to look exactly perfect from the back. So to keep it cheap, we ordered whatever chip it was. So say we needed some bricks in different colors. So blue was cheapest for two by fours. Sometimes a gray was the cheapest for two by threes that we use in the stands and so on and so on. So the main premise is that four stands or four or six stands, I think, will go per display case. Two per shelf, like this example here, those are the old stands. So once we get all those glass shelves back in the new displays, it's gonna be like display shelves top from bottom and the three middle ones 
will be actually having minifigure uh, displays, whereas the top one and the bottom one will be just mocks. That's gonna be a lot of building. <laughs> All right, so I shall build more of these stands and that way we can fill up those awesome cases and show you the finished studio. Hey guys, are you excited about the new stands? Dude. So I mean the display much. cases and stuff. Yeah, Stop bad. taking my bricks. Uh, <laughs> I need them. They're, They're so new. Them. I love it. You got all these really nice. Yeah, a lot of them. All right, guys. Before this vlog ends, and uh, we're gonna install those LED lights and show you how these stands, uh, display cases, actually look like when they're in, uh, you know, powered up. Okay. Wait, those are the old ones over there. See the old ones? Uh huh. Bzzz, and the uh, electric it's shock. Light. Yeah, you can it's, see it against it's, the wall. It's daylight. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to switch out all the lights. It's way cheaper to buy the lights separately because <laughs> they have cases that come with these lights, but it's like way more and you're like, you can just buy them separately yeah, and install them cheaper. yourselves and it's way, way cheaper. <laughs> and now we have all of these leftovers. All right, guys. So you have seen in the intro that we actually have those smart controlled strips so we can get the lights on displays by on demand with your phone. No, no problem. What we are doing uh, to just finish off the lighting setup here, there's gonna be more lights at the top, probably also uh, smartphone controlled, but these guys are daylight and these guys behind me are like tungsten. So we wanna switch off the tungsten to daylight because it just looks better for display. Ah! What are you? <laughs> Okay. This is so, much fun. so that's basically the general setup that we're gonna have. We have nine display cases right now. The guys are cleaning the last ones. This is some of the test runs for the display. So you guys can see the Lego Movie first one display. There is the Harry Potter. We're trying the best like lighting solutions. Some of these guys at the top are also tungsten lights. So we're gonna replace them most likely with daylight color. Usually like three shelves of minifigure displays and then they're gonna get mixed up with different bigger displays like this metal beard here, or for example, Batman vehicles or Back to the Future. Whatever we need, we're just testing things out. You guys can see the Batmans here, and then there's the Batmobile and stuff like that. So this is like a test run, but by the end of this week, uh, as soon as possible, we wanna get all these guys with some sort of content in them. And the app also controls, it's funny because we, we um, linked everything together so you guys can choose the displays. I think you can, you can switch them off manually, right? Yeah, you can switch them off manually. So that's pretty awesome, one by one, if you want to. And then at the very bottom of the app, we have, as you can see, Yavin. So I'm gonna try to get this and Boom, Yavin lights up. I mean, Yavin doesn't have as many lights right now, but those that are working for the landing pads, it's a bit dark in here, but you can see, are actually connected to the uh, smart power strip as well. If you we want to, we can switch off Yavin, and then we can also control the whole thing. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> So that's gonna be it for this display case update. Uh, you guys are gonna be seeing a bit less videos from us because we all work on getting those displays up. What, did I? Yeah, you <laughs> just turned this one off. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we even have that um, re uh, Apocalypse Burke set from Lego Movie 2, but we don't even have time to build it. So it's pretty crazy. Ramon is building a big project and so on and so on. So things are happening and um, that's gonna take our time away from editing videos. So I hope you guys understand and we're gonna be doing updates as often as we can. And as long as this room uh, keeps, you know, being uh, turning into a really awesome display room. Hey guys, any last words for this vlog? Uh, Okay, they're, they're trying not to break the glass. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in for more updates from this room. If they break the glass right now, it's gonna be a perfect ending, but I hope they won't because they're super expensive. All right, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. It was Mike, Jack and Ramon working on our display room, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>